Hello all and welcome back to my channel. I am Paige and this week we are playing around with a new resin mold. It actually came from the popular clothing store Shein or Sheen. I had no idea but they actually have crafting supplies and some silicone molds. So I bought this one. It is supposed to be a little mushroom trinket dish and we are going to see if we can make something cute out of this Shein mold. So if you're interested in seeing how it turns out, please continue watching. Here is our mold in question. This is actually upside down, so it will be the little little dish portion of the mushroom. And then the inside of the lid, if you can see, has some grooves. And this also is being poured upside down. So that is the lid. I first want to actually paint some pigment into the holes on the mushroom top. So it looks a little bit more speckled. I do plan on using some alcohol ink in the resin to also speckle it, but it's got the pattern already in there. We're gonna go for it. I'm just gonna use this pigment called Pearl. I will probably mix it in with the base as well, but that's gonna be the color of our spots. The inside of my lid is all speckled. I even took my paintbrush and kind of just like tapped it over top. So there are little flecks of pigment in there as well. And now it is time for us to just mix up some resin. In this small container, I am going to be mixing up kind of a beigey, uh, tan sort of base color. Oh, it's so hard to open these with gloves on to make it look like a mushroom stem. Okay, that needs more resin. I'm gonna kind of squish it a little. Potentially get any air bubbles out. Ink was a good choice or a bad choice. Moving on to the lid, I need more resin. Ooh, it's kind of creepy. I don't know how well you can see it, but <laughs> looks like blood. Now comes the waiting game for our lid and our base to cure. I'm not sure how these are gonna turn out. I have a feeling I might hate the way the stem looks. I should have poured in a different order, added alcohol ink at a different time. I was moving too quickly, I got excited. <laughs> but we'll see how these two turn out after they cure. Much to nobody's surprise, <laughs> I am not, a huge fan of the way our first mushroom turned out. 
honestly, it could have been worse. I was pleasantly surprised, but there are things I could do better. Number one being I severely underestimated the amount of resin I would need for this piece. So I'm going to mix up some more and we are going to kind of repeat what we did the first time. Uh, the mushroom cap is going to be green this time. I'm going to brush the circles with this olive green and then kind of go for some green and white speckles while our base is still kind of shooting for like a creamy color. I am going to stop before it is 100% filled so I can maybe try to drip some alcohol ink down the sides, get some cool spots. We're gonna do some things different and we're gonna give this another go. cap is done, the base is done. I feel like the alcohol ink isn't really dropping the way I want it to. I'm not sure, but we're just gonna have to wait for these to cure and see how set two turns out. All parts of our mushroom containers are totally cured. I'm going to show you guys the first set that I made before talking about the second one. Here he is, our first little mushroom dish. Turned out way more gold than I thought it was gonna be, which I'm okay with. But here's the dish. You can clearly see no alcohol ink <laughs> drippings down the side, stayed at the bottom, which is why I changed up the way that I poured and dispersed the alcohol ink in batch two. And here is the lid. You can kind of see the speckled look that I really liked when I just held the paintbrush over and kind of dusted the powder into it. However, I made the base a little more flat. I actually didn't fill it up to the very top of the mold. Turns out, I think it is necessary. This having a little lip to it makes it so the lid doesn't slide around on the base. It would have fit in there nicely. So for set two, I filled the cap up just a little bit more. And you can see here with our second mushroom, the lid doesn't want to move because it has this little lip underneath. This is mushroom number two with our green colors and the white base. Now as far as the alcohol ink goes, you can kind of see it. Maybe if I hadn't also tinted the resin, it would be more apparent. Now this lid actually turned out more bubbly than our first one, but I do really like the green spots along it. And I did not pigment this resin any color before dropping the alcohol ink in. So it kind of warps the drops in there and it gives it a really cool effect. I think both containers have their wins and their losses. This one might be a bit more of my favorite because I like that the lid doesn't go anywhere. But here are some shots of both of these pieces out in the natural light.
Thank you guys so much for watching this week's craft. I might have to get some more molds from Shein. This one turned out surprisingly well. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I tend to post videos on Fridays. I also keep a list of all the materials I used in this week's craft down in the description box below. I'll see you guys all for the next one.